They say good things come in little packages, and today's review is about one of those things. This is the Minix NGNR774. This is a little mini PC that packs a lot of power under the hood. It's completely quiet, has a lot of features, comes pre-installed with Windows 11, everything you need to get going. All you basically got to do is take it out of the box, plug it in, spend a few minutes just letting it do its thing, and you will be up and gaming and doing your thing. So let's jump in and let's see what this company has to offer in this next-gen computer. Did you just buy a brand new computer or upgrade your old computer with so many parts it's now asking for a new Windows key and you don't have one? Well, check this out. VIP Your CD Key has you covered and you don't have to pay Bill Gates that $199 price tag at all. You can get it right now for under $25 and it's easier than ever to do. All you do is you go over to the website on their website, you create an account. After that, you go and find your software. You put your software in the cart, enter the code TOT20. It will give you a wonderful 25% discount. You go to the checkout. After you do the checkout, check your email a couple of minutes later. You will have the code in there. Put it in your computer and activate your computer. It's that simple and check it out. All of these codes are guaranteed for life. So save yourself some money and check out the links below. All right, tech fans, so check it out. Like I said, this is a really small mini PC, but it's also very, very powerful and meant for people who are doing casual gaming. It's not like a giant tower, so you can't fit all those giant video cards in it, but what you get inside of here is pretty nice. And it's also very, very small, like I said, fits right in the palm of my hand. So that's always a really nice thing. Um, before we jump in and take a look at what the specs are underneath the hood, let's take a look at what's on the outside, starting off with the front of the PC. So on the front, we're gonna see we have the power button, two USB 3.0, USB-C, headphone jack, and you've got a little reset button right there on the front as well. As we spin it around the side, you'll see there's just a lot of different holes and stuff. This is for the air to be able to permeate and go through the system and keep it cool. As we flip around to the back, here's where a lot of the stuff is at. Now here you're going to see the two gigabyte ethernet ports. This is if you want to do shotgun ethernet, a lot of people do this. You also have two more of the USB 3.0 ports. You have an HDMI display port a USB-C, and then the power plug where the power plugs into. Now, as far as what comes in the bundle, it's very, very light. You get the mini PC itself, you get a VESA wall mount, you get the power plug, and you get an HDMI cable. And that's pretty much it other than the, you know, the user's guide. So that's it. The bundle is very, very small. It's simple. It's just what you need. The unit also has four small little feet. And you can see the screws right here for doing VESA mounting. So if you want to mount it to your monitor, which is a really nice thing to do if you're a gamer, you want nothing on your desktop, you just pop this bad boy right on the back of your monitor. No desktop real estate been taking whatsoever. With that said though, let's talk about the hardware on the inside. Now, as far as the specs go, this bad boy has an AMD Ryzen 7 8745HS. It also has an AMD Radeon 780M for your GPU, which really is pretty powerful. It's probably just as powerful as the 580 that was out a few years back. As far as the memory goes, this particular PC uses so dim memory. Currently installed are two chips, which are the DDR5 5600 megahertz chips, but you can put in up to 64 gigabytes. They're just not included with this particular build. Now, as far as the storage goes, there's a one terabyte M2 2280 PCIe NVMe SSD that's included on board, but there are additional slots so you can store up to eight terabytes inside of this little bad boy. We took a look at those ethernet jacks earlier on the outside of the system. These are two RJ45 2.5G ethernet ports. 
The wireless connectivity is 802.11ax. This is a triple band Wi-Fi 6E connection. So that's what it looks like on the outside. Those are the specs on the inside. Let's go do a little bit of testing and see how this does for the average consumer out there. Okay, so after seeing those test scores, you guys can see that this particular computer is really solid for the price range that it's in. It's under $600, it plays games really good, it's silent, it's small. I mean, is it the absolute best gaming computer in the world? No, it's not, but then again, look how much it costs and it will play a lot of games. Me, particularly, I like racing games, and I like games like Command and Conquer and stuff like that. For me, this system works just great, and because it's vase mountable, I can put it right on the back of the monitor that I use in my work area, because in my work area I have my Mac for the recording and stuff, but I can put this right on the back, hook it right in, and be up and gaming with no problem. All I gotta do is turn it on and I'm up and going and gaming. I don't have to change anything whatsoever and I like that. It's perfect for my needs. So if you're a person out there, you want a system that's quiet, you want a system that's reliable, it's got great upgrade features. Like I said, you can put in up to 64 gigabytes of memory in there. You can also put in up to eight terabytes of hard drive stuff in there. So if you want to bang this bad boy out and have plenty of specs in there, you can do that. The Ryzen 7, this is a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a, of a you know, aging chip, but it does great. It works perfect. I mean, if you're opening up a bunch of windows and doing stuff like that, I have a bad habit. All my friends come over and they're like, dude, why do you have so many windows open? It's just, that's how I am. I start looking at stuff and I get all these windows up and I just keep looking at them and doing stuff. And then by that time it's over, I looked at them, I'm like, oh my God, you have, believe it or not, I've had six, 60, 64 windows open before. Shh, I didn't say that out loud. Keep it to yourself, all right? But I've had that many windows open and this computer doesn't bog down whatsoever. So I say for anybody who's a casual to mid-level gamer who enjoys just the kind of casual gaming that there is to be had out there, and there's plenty of them to be had, this is a great machine for that. It takes up no desktop space. It's under $700. It's actually under $600. They're in stock. I'll have a link down below. Um, I think anybody who's in the market for this type of thing will be doing just fine. Minix did a great job on this little bad boy. I like it. I'm going to hook it to the back of my Mac. And, uh, well, you know what I'm going to do from there. So, peace out. Like I said, links down below. I have a Patreon site. You guys could uh, do me a favor. If you like the video, like it and sub the channel if you want to.